In 2 Corinthians chapter 6, there's a great verse, and I want you to just listen. Listen to what it says. And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them, walk among them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. There's this story of Queen Victoria when she reigned in England, how she loved to visit elderly widows. And there was one woman that lived in kind of a, well, it was, it was sort of a poor neighborhood, and she was one of the only believers in that neighborhood, and they all called her Granny. And the queen visited her, and they had fellowship together, and they prayed, and it was just a great visit, and something that the lady Granny never forgot. But one day her neighbors were kind of hassling her about her belief, and, and, and someone asked her, hey, what's the most honored guest you've ever had in your home? And she thought and she smiled and said, well, I'd have to say it was Her Majesty, the Queen. And one of the non-believers in the crowd said, oh, haha, we, we caught you. You've always said how much Jesus is your most honored person in your life and says, why didn't you say Jesus? And she said, oh, well, Jesus is not a guest. He lives here. And then she talked about that passage of scripture, how we are his temple and he dwells within us. And I want to remind you, I want to remind myself that, you know, he's not our guest. He lives within us. And every place we go and everything we do, he's with us. And he warns us that he lives here and that we're not to give ourselves to those things that are not of him. So let me just remind you of that verse again. Listen to it. I will dwell in them and walk among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. He lives within us. He's our God. Let's never think of him as a guest, but as a permanent resident. Mm -hmm.